Listen. I'm out here. I, you know, New York, y'all ain't playing around. I just had to make sure. No, yeah, we're good. We're good. No, we're good. No, we're good. Around we don't out here. play around in NBC. But I'm happy to be outside. Yeah, exactly. See everybody's. Look at this. Look at that. Come on. Look at that. Come on. That feels and you, great. And you know what? You can see the bottom of people's faces now. Yes. I'm taking the mask off. Yeah, you can see, yeah. Because that tripped me out. I was working on this movie, and you know, everybody's eyes look beautiful. Hey, that's all I you was did. talking to this girl for like six months, but all I saw was this. She took that thing off. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> all right. The bottom of the face looked different, right? I was like, oh, man. <laughs> like, put the, put the, put the, put the, here, here. put the mask back on, yeah. She's like, we going out? I'm like, well, yeah, I'm going. Okay. <laughs> One of us going out, absolutely. This COVID is crazy, man. Oh. Especially being black, too. It's crazy. It, no, I'm just saying because I knew it was going to be tough for brothers doing COVID. Just so we greet each other. Like, when I saw you, I was like, oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. We elbowed each other. Yeah, you're right, you're right, girl. Yeah, uh... No, I, my uh, white friend. Yeah, uh... uh, uh should, we, should we talk about the book? Oh, yes! <laughs> We, you have, we, you have a, a giant book coming out Tuesday. Act like you got some sense. Yeah. Uh, and, and other things I taught my daughters, cross it out, but my daughters taught me. Yeah. Uh, act like you got some sense. That came from your grandma? I came from my grandmother. When, we, when, when I won the Oscar for Ray, in my speech, I thanked my grandmother because I said she's the first person who was my acting teacher. She told me, act like you got some sense. Now, if, you know, it's cultural, but like, you know, when you're black and you're going into a grocery store, your, your mother said, now you act like you got some sense in here. Don't you pick up nothing, like, because you might, you know, lose a limb or whatever. So, <laughs> so I use that title because I use sort of the disciplines of what my grandmother and grandfather taught me in Texas to try to apply with my two young girls in Hollywood, which in the book, you see it doesn't always work, but that's no, where that came I, I from. think that's what I, I took from the book and what I love about the book is I think that you started a communication with your kids that is, uh, you don't talk to them like kids. You talk to them like, I mean, you're an adult and you're the dad, but you go, well, let's talk. Let's just... Because what I think, what I, and you know, it's not a big message book because there's a lot of funny stuff in it, but what I was always trying to make people understand, I wanted to break down those barriers with your daughters because your daughter's going to need you, especially when it comes to, like, guys and relationships. I mean, who else would know better than us? And so by doing it early, which a lot of people frowned at first, I said, but now it pays dividends when they really have serious questions about guys that I'm going to kill. <laughs> You... <laughs> you... Can you yeah, can you tell the story? Can you tell the story about how you had uh, you enlisted Snoop Dogg to help intimidate your daughter's boyfriend? What happened was my, my my daughter, who didn't know that I had already ran a background check on a boyfriend, he comes, <laughs> he he comes he comes to the crib and Snoop happens to be there, and I said, Snoop, there he is, right there. <laughs> Shake him up, and you know Snoop, you know you know Snoop walked over to my daughter's boyfriend and just said, hey, what's up? What's up, cuz? You know? <laughs> hey, hey, look here, you know, we, 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 we her uncles, you know what I'm saying? So act accordingly, homie. You know? <laughs> 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 but, but, but the underlying meaning of it was is that I wanted the young man to understand that she's got people that really love her so that if something does go wrong, Snoop is coming to kill Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> Your, uh, your book tour... <laughs> your book tour kicks off Friday night in Philly. Yes. Uh, then on Saturday night, you're in Harlem at the... Friday Apollo. night in Philly. Roots. Friday night in Philly. <laughs> Friday night in Philly. <laughs> Friday night in Philly. <laughs> Friday night in... <laughs> Friday night in... And then, and then hold Saturday. On, hold, on, hold on a second. I want to point at everybody. Thank you. And then Saturday night, Saturday night in Harlem at the Apollo. Theater. Saturday night in Harlem. Saturday night in Harlem. Saturday night in Harlem. Saturday night in Harlem. Uh, I want to toast to your new book, and I figure why not toast with actually your own bourbon. Oh, man. 
Guys, I have my own bourbon. It's called brown sugar bourbon. Listen, I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm not afraid of anybody else's alcohol. This goes hard. <laughs> and and it's, it's sweet, has a nice sweet flavor to it. So it's, it's going crazy right now. So we're gonna toast to all of you guys. If you didn't have a mask on, you could taste it, but. <laughs> brown sugar. Brown sugar, babe. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Jamie Foxx, everybody, act like you got some sense. And other things my daughter's taught me is available starting Tuesday. Hey, hey.